here is another subscription box for books and other bookish things. It's called Owl Crate. I have been on the wait list for several months since I, sign, I tried to sign up for it around the time that I did the bookworm box, but they were um, not taking any more subscriptions and I, they put me on the wait list. And I finally got an email that said that I could sign up for August. So I signed up and here's my box. So let's see what's inside. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like this when you open it up. <laughs> so cute. Guide to unboxing if you give two hoots. Photograph and film your unboxing experience. Share, show off your treats to the Owl Crate community. And read, snuggle up, enjoy your new book. There's a card in here. It says Owl Crate Magical Monthly Reads. And then it says what's inside. It's a spoiler. It tells you exactly what's inside. So I'm just going to just... I'm not going to read that. <laughs> There's a bunch of little things like this in the air. There's a little box like this. Let's see what's in there. It is a keychain that says Nancy Drew in Secret of Old Clock, I think, and then 1930. That's really cool. Oh my goodness. Sherlock Holmes nail decals. How neat. <laughs> I don't know if I'll use these, but that looks really neat. A Sherlock Holmes detective agency pocket notebook. A handy notebook to mark down your observations, clues, research, shopping lists, and other facts. That is so cute. There is nothing more deceptive than an obvious fact. Sherlock Holmes. Sometimes you have to lie, but to yourself, you must always tell the truth. And that's from Harriet the Spy. That is so cool. I like that. And here's the book. Trouble is a friend of mine. And it has a, um, a bookmark. It says, Preparing to survive a typical day of being Digby's friend wasn't that different from preparing to survive the apocalypse. And there's a pen. Let's see what this book is about. So the theme of this, this owl crate was called Mystery. So we got Sherlock Holmes. It's, it's about... You know, that's mystery. You got Nancy Drew. That's a mystery. And so this book must be a mystery. 
With the wit of Sherlock, the smarts of Veronica Mars, and the humor of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, this is a debut novel you won't want to miss. Those look like police reports, I said. They are police reports, Digby said. Why do you have police reports? Four weeks ago, Marina Miller disappeared from a slumber party at her house. These files are from the Marina Miller case. No, those are from where when another girl disappeared from River Heights eight years ago. They're related? Yep, maybe, definitely, maybe, Digby said. Hey, are you hungry? I gotta eat. <laughs> that sounds, hmm, sounds like it'll be good. Of course I didn't like Digby when I first met him. No one does. The first time Philip Digby shows up on Zoe Webster's doorstep, he's rude and he threats her like a book. He's already read and knows the ending to. But before she knows it, Zoe's allowed Digby annoying, brilliant, and somehow attractive. Digby to drag her into his serious play is dangerous and only vaguely legal schemes all related to the kidnapping of a local teenage girl. A kidnapping that might be connected to the tragic disappearance of his little sister eight years ago. When it comes to Digby, Zoe just can't say no. But is Digby a hero or is his manic quest an indication of a desperate attempt to repair his broken family and exercise his own obsessive compulsive tendencies? And does she really care anyway? This is a contemporary debut with razor-sharp dialogue, ridiculously funny action, and a dynamic duo you won't soon forget. Oh my goodness, I love Al Crate. <laughs> this book looks so good, and this stuff is so cool. I think I'm going to keep the subscription box.